What's up, y'all? Tracy here, back with another reaction video. This is one that was sent in from one of you awesome subscribers that I love very much. Thank you guys for sending in all of these requests. They really, it's really fun for me. I love doing these reaction videos because it allows me to see a bunch of content on YouTube that I never knew existed. I'm pretty new to YouTube. Before I had this channel, I just watched Let's Plays and some reaction videos. That's it. I didn't know all the amazing content out there on YouTube. So it's been a really fun adventure getting to learn all this shit with you guys and all these things that you guys love and share with me. And most of the time, it's it's really good videos. There's been a couple instances where it's been, it's been questionable why the fuck you sent me certain things. This is called Should You Watch Himalto Umaru-chan. I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm guessing this is like a review of a anime or something maybe. Like, should we watch it and if it'll tell us if it's good or not? I don't know because I, I don't keep up with very much anime. I used to like anime back in high school for a while. But then I dated someone that was really crazy about anime to a point of no return. And psycho about it. So, yeah, that story's down there in my story times. And after that, it kind of ruined anime for me. So I haven't really gotten into it until recently when I got back on this channel. A lot of the things I've reacted to have had anime in it. or been like Ruby. Ruby's my favorite anime of all time. I'm getting more into it again. I'm more into uh, real life television, like with real life people and stuff, than, than anime usually. But some of them are really good. So, yeah, let's check this shit out. Here we go. Hey, guys. What's up? It's me, Demolition D. Back with a brand new track. Fucking gross. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be weird. <laughs> what the fuck? Was his fingers really cut? That's so gross. <laughs> fuck my big black ass. You ever look at a fad like truck nuts? Uh, Crocs? Truck nuts were a thing? And think, yeah, no, that's never gonna last. Only to learn as time goes by that you have frighteningly underestimated the staying power of even the shallowest of trends. Because that's kind of how I feel about today's topic. One Punch Man. Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. Just slow down. Even I'm not that contrarian. Now let me tell you why I dislike this popular show. I've never I've been fond of the phrase good. flavor of the week. Because even as a show's 15 minutes of internet fame waxes and wanes into the unknown, oh yeah, pile of regurgitated half-baked misery that is an anime news network popularity poll, the phrase huh. still hints at perhaps a microcosm of taste. And when it comes to Umaru's taste, I'd say it's comparable to an unsalted cracker. Yeah. I'll eat it because my low self-esteem dictates just about every standard in my life, but like a cheap prostitute, I can still identify things that I don't want in my mouth. Uh, now, I'm actually going to ask request. I've been away for a while, so I thought Damn, I owed it to cover burn. something that's actually asked of me for once, which I don't normally nice. do. Normally, I wish most of you were dead. <laughs> I'll bet you have. I'll bet you were wondering when she'd go the way of the Chica or Hestia no and stop being is. a reaction image for every fucking post under the sun. Demo, can you like make a point already or maybe explain the plot before you try and rationalize how shit a show is with your own creatively bankrupt generalizations? I've sure, never easy. Even seen Easier this than girl. DJ Khaled explaining the plot of the new Star Wars. Another one. <laughs> Find Another me a uh, game on each hand. No, Maro. You have to get up and clean the shelf of each spagaragus. But I want potato on each hand, or else I'll flip a tit. Oh, damn. No. <laughs> enjoy your game. I Play, enjoy this rinse, commentary. Repeat this 12 is whole episodes like a ruler of mediocrity, where inch by inch you feel like less of a productive member of society. Not at all because the show does anything to accurately portray what being a useless member of society is actually like, but because for a total of six hours, you realize that you've just sat through the anime equivalent of the Big Bang Theory, trying so like hard to appeal to both the Watamote theory. crowd and the seasonal garbage eaters that like things slightly less gross, that you're ashamed to show your face again at work. I like Back the up Big to what Bang I said theory. about play, rinse, repeat. The fact that somewhere along the line, the anime somewhat hints at Umaru growing up and vaguely realizing that just maybe she's a bit too self-centered, only to end the same way the show began, effectively culminating in her attempting to trick her brother into buying a car. Like a bad hand job, that rubbed me the wrong <laughs> way. But I guess that doesn't work out, so yes. she just aims a little lower, asking for manga and games again. <laughs> just like you, viewer. You like games? Well, 
that that blow job Bazinga. Is I mean, I know it's not necessarily a kid show, jail. but if I were a hot single Japanese housewife, I'd be worried if my impressionable little nips eagerly awaited <laughs> the weekly installment of this shit, teaching kids everywhere to be self entitled little buttholes. And as much as I love little buttholes, <laughs> I fear for the future of our youth. The music is Dinky. so bad, okay? Now you think I'm just reaching for more things to complain about, right? For a show like this one, is the composition really worth the scrutiny? Why even mention it? Because it's actually that bad. For the love so of all that is in Miyazaki's this. name allowed for this atrocious composition of dates and dudes during Umaru's transformation scenes, which there are many of, mind you. Hey, yo, Fama Lamborghini, what kind of BGM you want? Oh, yeah, well, I don't know, just bust out fucking wooden train flute and go to town, I guess. Hey, I'll grab my kazoo. I'm really feeling it. Yep. What the fuck? Sorry, y'all. Bad dog! If I had to say one nice thing, it'd be Ebina. If I had to say two nice things, it'd be Ebina's double dudes. <laughs> I mean, I sure as heck can't say anything flattering about the rest of the cast, <laughs> especially the brother when that fucking faggot shows less self-respect than your mom on the floor of a football locker room. American football, of course, of everyone anime. knows Europeans hate pussy, but I digress. Yeah, I won't say nice. there are no redeeming qualities she's, she's because pretty. that's not the case, but every now and again, you gotta bust out the scales of justice and dictate the <laughs> worth. Sometimes the cast, when together, could the evoke word. a grin or a giggle from me, and I acknowledge that, but He's sitting there for handsome. 12 episodes only to dredge an infrequent but ounce of comedic value from an otherwise dry Definitely well of comedy sound like felt a good more like a chore from, than any kind of payoff it. and for a comedy you can suck my balls. The bland execution of a cute idea dampens just about anything the series had going for it or its staying power. Oh wait, scratch that last one. She's still around. Hmm. Like a bad joke. And typically, I like bad jokes. Here's one. What's orange, round, and has holes all over? <laughs> if you said Mars... You're wrong. Now, I can You're read a lot of the comments before they're even written. That it's less about substance and more about just being yeah. fun. I love those. Just toying your brain off. Why can't you be more like your cousin Jan? I like Jan? shows Gee, like I don't that, know, though. Aunt Diane. Maybe because Johnny is a fucking like retard. And I'm sure a lot it's of people did have fun. fun with it. And that's fine. But I did not. And this is without pitting it up against a gold standard. It's slice of life, obviously. Literally zero expectations going in. And this was my conclusion. I don't know. Perhaps I've become too jaded to have fun. Here, let me check. <laughs> nope, still got it. That's kind of why I felt the need to cover this one. Maybe not with an in-depth review like explaining gore. everything wrong with it, and even the better parts about it, but at least a should you watch. Because of the overwhelming inquiry a show like this gets when people see this horrid little creature's face <laughs> everywhere and wonder if they should bother with it. No one's immune to confusion. Hell, I was confused. So let me do my job and save you from wasting your precious time. If I can suck farts out your ass while you sleep, then lie under your bed while trying to guess what you had for dinner till sunrise, and I can surely, Damn. on a less intimate level, recommend a good show. Or gross. in this case, a near That's offensively so mediocre one. Also, please don't look under you. <laughs> Should you watch Himoto? Check under your bed, everybody, right now. What's wrong with y'all niggas? What's wrong with you? All right, that was Should You Watch Himuto Umari-chan. And I guess the consensus he came to was definitely a no. He seems like he thought it was like one of the worst animes in the entire universe. I enjoyed his commentary. I don't have any basis behind the anime because I've never seen myself to have like an opinion on it. I know that there's a lot of people that took Glee seriously whenever it was whenever it was popular. Even recently that have took Glee too seriously whenever it's supposed to be funny. The plot holes and stuff, it's like, it's a comedy, so you aren't supposed to be so serious about it, so maybe that's where it's at with him, I don't know, but, um, that was my nephew who came in here. He comes in here when I'm recording videos during the day sometimes, cause, I don't know, he's a silly, he wants to say hi to you guys, I don't even know if it caught his face or anything, he always tries, but, but he comes from this side, so he does you don't get to see him, usually. Usually you just see, like, you just see, like, his shoulder. But that's my nephew. He's fucking awesome. We might do another. We might do videos together again. We've done a couple together, and he's yeah. He, I love a little bug. All right, that was an interesting video. I quite enjoyed that guy's commentary. It was very funny and slightly disturbing, but I like disturbing. All right, thank you guys so fucking much for watching. I love you guys. You're the best subscribers I could ever ask for. Like, comment, subscribe, share, etc., etc. Peace out.